All right, everyone, got another little project going on here in the shop. It's a 51 Willys wagon. It actually belongs to a good friend of mine. Um, kind of helping him out on a few things over the next few days on this. It's a project he started quite some time ago. Uh, I actually sold it to him, uh, God, the best we could figure, about 12, 11, 12 years ago is what we're thinking. Uh, and then he kind of dug into it about 10 years ago. He had a tube chassis built for it. Uh, it's got a narrow nine inch for the rear. It's all on four link in the rear, uh, QA1 coilovers. He's got Mustang two front end in it with the QA1 coilovers also. So last week when we pulled the body up off his frame to uh, finish some more stuff on the body before we uh, permanently mount it. It's kind of been an on and off project for him over the quite a few years now. So, but this summer we are trying to get this thing on the road for him, give him a hand. Get this thing rolling finally so uh, he's got a 401 in it uh, just a, I think pretty much a stock 401 I think maybe has a camshaft and an intake on it some headers uh, he's got a 727 in it that's all been rebuilt um, so I'm just gonna walk around it quick kind of show you some of the things that are going on it's all stock uh, as far as the body appearance it's not chopped or anything so it's just a stock height it's kind of ironic I own this Jeep I sold it to him a long time ago then just a couple years, I bought my 48 Willys wagon and built Ratfish uh, for, for my followers. You've seen the, the project Ratfish. So uh, a lot of my uh, ideas came from his project because he had the tube frame and I went over there one day with a tape measure, took some measurements, bing, bang, boom, I got a frame built. Um, so I'll just kind of show you some of the stuff underneath. It's, he's sandblasted everything. Everything's in epoxy primer right now and stuff, but it's starting to get a little bit of surface rust here and there because it's, it's been in and out, sitting outside, inside. Uh, he's got some kind of neat mini tubs here. Actually cut the wheel wells off another wheelies out of the junkyard and then a good friend of ours uh, welded them in for us. But it looks kind of neat and uh, the tires he's putting underneath the back of this thing actually fill these wheel wells. So it's pretty subtle. I mean, it's how you look inside and you know, the, uh, the friend of ours did a heck of a job putting these things in there. I mean, you can't even tell they were added. And uh, cause it's so subtle when you look at it, you don't realize that it's been tubbed out like that. New floor pans were put in the front. Um, I just did this uh, two weekends ago, I believe it was. Uh, we had to cut the firewall out to fit the 401 in with the 727. So I went up there with my small uh, brake and, and uh, some shears and we built this firewall one day. I just got to do some cleanup work on it, finish welding it, uh, kind of blend everything in. So that's my project this weekend is to get this in primer and then uh, paint it and then the bottom side of this we're going to do in a uh, a bed liner raptor product is what it's called a raptor bed liner so i'll be spraying the whole bottom of this body in raptor and then uh i believe sunday we're going to set the body back down on his chassis bolt it all down raise it up and i'm going to do the exhaust work on it and uh by the end of the weekend i think actually we're going to do some wood panels in here for him too we're going to cut some uh we're going to insulate back here uh, where these uh, interior panels go uh, with some kind of a bubble insulation and then we'll make uh, new uh, wood panels out of some oak with clear coat on it He's got all new oak boards for the floor too. This wheelie's actually uh, Had oak inlays on the floor and he uh, he made all of them years ago and varnished them So those are all ready to go uh, But I'll be painting this floor and everything for him too to get a color on the floor and So when he puts his wood back down, it looks nice. So um yeah, so that's that's kind of a nice little project. Like I said, it's 51 wheelies. He's got all new glass for it. He's got a lot of parts for it. It's just a matter of kind of putting things together now. So he's just going to kind of leave the body as it is right now. And, you know, like I said, just get it on the road, get it driving, have some fun with it. And, and uh, you know, and he's got the extra 10 grand to put a paint job on it. I'm sure he will. But uh, for now, it looks just fine. And, you know, fun little rig to go drive around in town. And they will have plenty of power. I think it was actually stored in a warehouse, and the warehouse started on fire. This was many, many, many years ago. I think the last time this thing was on the road was uh, late 70s, I believe, uh, when I bought it, the plate that was on it. So it had uh, sustained some damage in a fire. So that's why I was parked and never used again. So, But uh, I'll do another video, you know, maybe next weekend or something after we get all of our work done on it. And before it goes back to his house, I'll uh, post up another video on what we did get done on it. So thanks for watching guys. Comment, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.